This is a blowgun used by primitive tribes around the world. This particular one comes from the Philippines. Blowguns were and still are used for hunting animals, but they were also used to hunt people in times of war. Michael Janich has revived a lost art of dart blowing. But don't worry, he only shoots targets, not people. Ooh. Everyone knows Michael Janich is a real blowhard. In fact, he blows so hard and so accurately that today for Ripley's, using just his breath, he'll send a dart through this tube and attempt to hit a grapefruit 75 feet away. That's further than the length of a bowling alley. Michael is a leading expert and master of one of the world's most ancient weapons, the blowgun. The blowgun is um, the forefather of all firearms. To catch this blowgun specialist at work, Ripley's needed a high-speed camera just to follow the action. These darts move at an incredible 190 feet per second. That's 129 miles an hour. And they hit hard, easily penetrating this 3 8 inch piece of plywood. Michael's fascination with these primitive yet effective weapons began when he was young. I got interested in blowguns when I was a kid because uh, I always saw ads for blowguns in the back of outdoor magazines. Something about the blowgun's basic design caught Michael's eye. Just the fact that something so simple could be so powerful. Uh, just harnessing the human breath could propel a projectile uh, much the same way that you'd have with a, with a rifle or a handgun. Over the years, Michael has studied and collected everything he could find on blowguns. And he's even written his own book on the history of the subject called Blowguns, The Breath of Death. The heart of blowgun use today uh, would be in the Amazon basin in Ecuador, uh, among the uh, Warani Indians and some of the other primitive tribes that still exist there. Michael's home, located in the foothills of Colorado's Rocky Mountains, houses Michael's collection of more than 40 traditional and modern blowguns. On one end, you've got something like this. This is a traditional blowgun, a Sumpitan from Malaysia, and these are still in use in Malaysia today. On the other end of the scale, you've got the high-tech approach. This one actually has a laser attached to it. Michael's amazing ability with a blowgun is so remarkable because his guns are so low-tech. Breath control is inexact, and unlike rifles, blowguns don't have sights. There have been many attempts to put sights on blowguns, but basically it doesn't work, because unless you're horribly disfigured, your mouth is going to be off-center from your eye. But after so many years, Michael makes it look deceptively easy. It's practice, and a lot of it just feel. But to hit the grapefruit target set up 75 feet away, it will take a lot of air. You want it to be an explosive breath. Michael sets up, takes aim, and with one mighty burst of breath, he nails his grapefruit target. Then he does it again and again. But it's not just the distance that the master takes pride in, it's his accuracy. A lot of times when you shoot a dart and you know you got it right, you feel it immediately. Blowguns are banned in California and Massachusetts.